Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to change the line on your Still FS38 lawn trimmer. Alright, the first thing you want to do is remove this bump knob. So you just twist it off counterclockwise. And then you want to pull this head off. Be careful because there's a spring in here. And now we'll just put the lawn trimmer to the side for now. Okay, so this spool here, you want to take this out. All you do is give it a little turn and it'll let go. So right here, you'll see there's a spring. Make sure you don't lose that. That's the way it goes, right in there inside the head. In case it does fall out, that's where it goes. So we'll put that aside. Now you'll see the spool here has these locator tabs here. So before I put the string on, I'm gonna show you where to put it. You'll see this tab here has 2.0, and then this tab has a 2.4 millimeter. So that's two millimeter, there's a two millimeter, 2.4 millimeter, and 2.4 millimeter. So you can put two different kinds of uh, line on here. Today we're gonna to be doing the two millimeter because that's what I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off about 10 to 12 feet of this. See, so that's pretty good. Take your scissors and we'll lock this up here in the, the tab on here. Take your scissors and we'll cut that off. So we're going to double this up. And we'll meet the two ends like this. So that there is probably about 10 feet. 12 feet would have been fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two ends, the two pieces together like this. And inside the spool, there are two holes. You might not be able to see that. There's a divider in the middle. So put the line on each side and run the ends of each line into that into those holes so now they don't go in very far so just fold it back on its the line back on itself like this and then we're just going to spool it all the line back onto this spool now i'm stepping on the other end with my foot just to keep, because it's springy. But this will work. I'll get this off my foot, because it's hung up on my shoe. <laughs> there we go. So just keep this, keep the tension on the two lines and just keep turning until you get it, them just about all the way on the spool. Just take your time. If it slips out of your hand, the string or the spool, you just start over, right? Remember to keep the tension on there. There. So now, keep a finger or a thumb over there like this, over your line so it doesn't unspool on you. And we're gonna cut this in half. Like that. Now, remember those locator tabs I showed you that were 2.0? So we're, we're gonna look over and we'll find the 2.0 because this is two, two millimeter line. And we'll bring this one back like this. And there you go, it looks like that, everything's snug. When I put the lawn trimmer back on, I'll bump the bump knob and the lines will release and the string will be longer. So now we're gonna grab the spool head and we're gonna place it inside the hole on top of the spring like this. But we're gonna run, we're gonna run the, the line. It's hard to hold all this and show you at the same time, but 
gonna run the line because there's a hole on each side of the head. You have to run one line through each hole like that, see? And then I'll put this over like this, sort of. And I'll run the line through the other side like that. And just keep pulling that line and pushing that spool down inside. There we go. Give a slight turn so it catches like that because if you go too far it'll pop back out like this so you put it like that so it catches oh that one popped out because i pulled the string and there we go your line is restrung on that spool and now we'll attach it to the still fs38 so we'll just put the head on simply like this the bump knob back on, thread it onto this bolt, just snug it up, now this can't come off, give this a pull, the line's a pull and the, this part here of the spool should pop out, there we go, now it works, if you cut too long, don't worry because when it goes around it'll hit the cutter, there's a cutter right here and it'll cut your line off to the right size. So don't forget for the Still FS38, you're going to need a two millimeter line from Still or a 2.4 millimeter line. I'll put a link to both down below in the description where you can get that. And I just want to say a quick something about the Still lawn and garden tools. I have the Still weed eater, I have a Still chainsaw, and I also have a Still pole trimmer. I can't say enough about Still products. I've tried other products and nothing has lasted like these. I've had this lawn trimmer now for three years and the chainsaw for three years. Not a problem. The pole saw, I've had about five years and it works great. Never ever had a problem. As long as you maintain them, put them away properly for the winter. Well, not the chainsaw, but the lawn trimmer and the pole saw. If you're not using it for the winter, put them away properly and you won't have a problem when it comes to spring. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave me a comment below and please hit that subscribe button. It's free, I'll never charge you to subscribe. It just supports my channel and helps me bring more good, helpful videos to you. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video.